Uh, Kirk, kind of like I asked Trey, I mean, you know, he's obviously had a great year with the RBI. He's batting over 300, but two home runs all year coming in and 239 bats and then three today and two slams. What what'd you think his day and where do you think that came from? Well, I mean, he's hit a ton of balls hard. And, um, you know, at the first one I thought had a good chance of getting out just because I thought he hit it really well. And um, the next two I was a little bit surprised in terms of the ball getting over the fence. I, I knew he hit it well, uh, but it seemed to be traveling obviously really well this whole weekend to that that part of the field. So, um, you know, I guess he's saving the best for last, you know. Didn't want to get all of his homers out of the way early and, um, you know, was able to put three good swings on it today. And then, you know, but the other thing, too, is like Sam said, the play that he made, I think is, I forget what inning it was, but made in the diving play in the hole, you know, to get the leadoff out was huge. And he he had a, he had a great game all the way around. It was, it was a lot of fun to be around. That's obviously had a great year. You guys have, have pounded him pretty good twice now. What what do you think of, think about that? Well, it, like like they said, baseball is a weird sport. You know, it's it's there's no rhyme or reason to it. You know, there there really isn't. And you know what we've been able to do is that we've had two good games against them. You know, we've had four games against some other opponents. I, if I could figure it out, we'd have great games against everybody. Um, but it's a it's a it's a weird sport and. You never know what you're going to see. And again, today, you know, they just, I thought we just obviously getting off to a great start, I think was the difference of, of, you know, letting everybody settle in. And then I think I was most proud of the ninth inning, you know, after having two delays and a uh, leadoff guy, you know, Carson Bowen gets a two strike knock in the, in the four hole, um, you know, and then, and then obviously Braden gets a backside base hit and then Cole Fontenelle gets, um, you know, a lucky base hit you know, kind of bouncer over the first baseman's head. But then, you know, Curtis Byrne, who I don't think had a, a hit today, took a really professional team at bat in the ninth inning in a game that was, out of, you know, out of reach and hit a ground ball to second base to score one and move one over. You know, so I thought that was a part that I was most proud of is the fact that they didn't give away any at-bats in the ninth inning. And, you know, that's what championship clubs do. Um, so I was proud of that. Coach, I – Ask Sam about this a little bit, but how important was it? How big was it for your club to get him back out on the mound after that first weather delay? Yeah, because after the second inning, I think it was he had thrown only 29 pitches, so it was it didn't even cross my mind we were going to go to anybody else. You know, just told him to stay loose and, um, you know, try and, you know, throw every once in a while so you can keep your arm loose. But I thought with 29 pitches and him being a senior and been around the block multiple times, you know, I thought you know he was going to handle it the right way and be able to kind of like he said get out of his hourglass and then get back into it once we were 15 minutes out and you know I don't think he skipped a beat I thought he gave us you know it was a humid warm day and I thought he gave us literally every last ounce he could give us and you know I think they ran into three balls against him but um that's why they started today you know I thought he was going to give us the best chance in terms of we knew what we were going to get from him you know and it's typical Sam Stoutenborough Coach, what do you say to those who just a few weeks ago were saying you wouldn't even make it into the tournament, and today you come back and set an NCAA record with 20, 20 runs? I don't really have anything to say. I mean, it to me, it really doesn't matter. I, the only thing that really matters is the 35 guys we have in our locker room and our support staff, and, you know, those are the only opinions that matter. Um, you know, the outside is just noise, and if you listen to it, you'll probably believe it. And – you know, it's that's why baseball is a really long season. You're going to have your ups and your downs. And the big thing is, is can you have your ups at the tail end of the season? And, you know, give credit to, to our players in terms of doing that on a daily basis. Even when it wasn't going very good in the middle part of the season, coming home for West Virginia, not feeling great about it. And they just kept showing up, kept working, kept believing. And, I mean, it says a lot about who they are. Um, Kirk, Kirk, um, do you have any idea who you're going to start tomorrow? No, not yet. Okay, we'll have dinner tonight and kind of figure it out. And then um, I think I think you guys are 14 and one in your last 15 games, eight in a row. What's uh, what, what's been? I know you're a good team, obviously, but what's been going so good in this stretch? Well, I think ultimately, any run that you go on, it's got to start with starting pitching. And I think our starting pitching has given us an opportunity to, you know, they've gotten it, gotten us for the most part you know, in deeper into games, not always, you know, into the sixth or the seventh, but, um, you know, I think that's the start of it. 
And then I think just the continuity of the offense and playing the type of baseball that Coach Bruce imagined when we started the season. And, you know, he can do a lot of different things with a lot of different guys on our on our team. But I think the big thing is, is they're just – they're a very selfless group that, you know, if it's not me, it's going to be the guy behind me. I'm not going to try and do too much. And when you have nine guys thinking that way and operating that way, you have a chance. And, you know, there's three facets of the game, offense, defense, and pitching. And I think I said a couple of days ago, if you do two out of those things, two out of three of those things in a game, you, you got a good chance to win. And if you do all three, you're probably going to win. If you do less, if you only do one or, le- or zero, you're going to lose. So, you know, I think we've played w- good defense. We've pitched it well enough. And offensively, um, we've been pretty consistent. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. All right.